Well, well, well. Here we are again. Today's mythical journey is going to be a Spanish bean salsa. Now, what does that mean? It means that I've got a bunch of dried beans laying around, and I need to do something with them. So here I am rehydrating them, probably be overnight. Then, once that's ready, I'm going to be taking some cilantro, oh, serrano peppers, a little bit of lemon, some red onion, some white onion. Then I've got cumin, some minced garlic that was freeze-dried, and salt and pepper, obviously. I'm going to uh, put all those other ingredients into a food processor, which I will allow you to watch. And then I'm going to mix in the beans, and we're going to see how that works out. Could be good, could be bad, don't know. Just kind of flying off the seat of my pants. So, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, here we are, step two of the process. I skipped all the chopping part because that's not a lot of fun. And it's really not that hard to uh, quarter some onions and rip off the leaves of the cilantro. So, I decided to skip that. But, as you can see, there's the red onion. I've got the cilantro spread around. Here's part of the peppers. Most likely I was supposed to take the seeds out, but I like it hot, so I left them in. And then there's some white onion underneath there. And got my beans cooking over here in this pot. They don't look too good right now, but they'll be fine once you drain them. So the next thing to do, put the cover on, and go to town. The trick here is to not chop it too fine because then it'll just turn into liquid and you want that nice chunky salsa like consistency. So this is my first time using this, we'll see how it goes. You don't want to do too much, like I said, it'll be too runny. So a couple of quick pulses and that looks like it's pretty good right like that. As I am talking right now, I just realized I should probably have some tomatoes in here, but I don't have any tomatoes, so we're going to skip it. Um, next thing to do is just combine the beans and that, and then in a big bowl, then I'll throw in the dry ingredients and the lemon and lime juice, and we'll see how it tastes. And here is the final step, combining everything. Over here you got your lemons and limes. I didn't show the limes in the beginning. I also added some dry ingredients. There's the garlic and cumin. I'm also going to add some spicy chili powder and some Spanish paprika. I don't know if that paprika is needed, but the bag says Spanish, so I'm going to use it. So anyways, the first thing you want to do is get yourself a BFB. That's a big fucking bowl, so that everything fits in there. Throw your beans in first. Then your onion and pepper mixture. Come back and scrape the sides later. And then you will see my highly precise measuring devices, my fingers. I really don't measure anything ever. I just kind of go by how it looks in there and judge it on the quantity. Luckily, years of cooking allows me to do that. If you're not comfortable with it, I guess uh, find a cookbook and they'll have something for you, but not me. Pretty much I just start with a pinch of everything, and if it looks like it's not going to go through all of the ingredients and all the mass that's in there, then I'll add a little bit more. The other thing to keep in mind is it's not like this is set in stone, so if you like one flavor more than another, by all means, add more of that ingredient. It's Cooking is really that easy. A lot of people are scared by it. I don't know why, but it's not hard. Put this last one in, is the Spanish paprika. Add a little redness to my mostly green and brown. And then here I've got two limes that I'm going to use, because I'm a big fan of lime.
Anyways, you get that idea. So I'm going to finish squeezing those and then I'll show you the final product once it's all mixed together. Alright, so here it is. It's finally done. Got everything mixed up and in a nice neat little bowl like that. And uh, like I said, I've never tried this recipe. I just threw shit together to see how it turns out. And uh, this could be really terrible, could be really good, could be really spicy, or I might just end up throwing this away. So, let's find out. It's definitely got spice to it. But, I think just the right amount of spice. And, uh, it's kind of bland. I'm not sure what I can put in there. Maybe a little more chili powder. So, I don't know. So you can see I got some chips here. This is a once a month type of deal. Figure, hey, I'm making something good. Should probably try it out with something good. Oh, yeah. So I'm obviously not going to eat all that with all the chips the whole time. Because we know me, and that's not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is probably put this on my eggs in the morning. Or if I get some pita bread, I can make like a little like a breakfast pizza type thing. with. Uh, I'll bake some pita bread, then put the egg down on top of that, and then this stuff on top of there. So it could be like a little morning breakfast pizza. But uh, I'll give you the recipe in my blog after this. But I uh, hope you enjoyed, and if you got any questions, hit me up. You know where I'm at.